Oh my goodness, there was a hole. Oh! <laughs> oh, and there's lava! There's lava! There's lava! Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of JC's Minecraft Live. I am in my new storage area, and you may have noticed I'm looking a bit different. Uh, yes, the 1.13 update has uh, just been released for Bedrock Edition, and I've been playing with the character creator. So this is a, <laughs> a character that I made for myself. I'm going to keep it on for a couple of episodes. Um, I love that she bleats. Um, but I, I don't know if I'm missing uh, my old Josie skin, so I, I don't know. I might change back. I might keep this. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Um, but yes, uh, this is actually in the top of my library. This is the roof of the library. Um, you've got lots of storage uh, boxes. Uh, I don't know. I think I want to do something here. I'm not sure. So if anybody's got any ideas what I could put there, um, that that'd be really, really good. But let's go and see what I've been doing because all of my cubicles uh, are full of villagers uh, for trades and we've also got some golems spawning in here which is really annoying but well you know I can't really do anything about it um, so this is the uh, second floor yes excuse me um, we'll no longer have staircase in the middle uh, of the of the floor um, these guys are actually cartographers because I ended up with all the books that I wanted um, and it was really getting quite tedious cycling through uh, the uh, different trades for the librarians. So I think I'm going to decorate these bits here with some maps but um, you know they can buy some paper off me and I'm hoping at least one of them will give me a map at, when they get to level 5 um, for a, a what do you call it? The mansion. Um, so yeah, so let's go and see downstairs because that's finished as well. And um, and then the outside because I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Ignore the fact that you can see the dirt under the chest. We, we, we'll pretend that that uh, didn't happen. Um, but yeah, every single one of these has got librarians in. So we're going to be really well equipped for uh, the dragon fight, which will be on Sunday the 3rd of October of November sorry the 3rd of November 10 o'clock GMT so if you're in a different time zone you'll be able to uh, work that out but it uh, should be really really exciting um, I've just got one more thing that I need to do really before I'm comfortable and as soon as we're going outside let's just put my armor back on um, but yeah, let's go see the, the library from the outside. Da, 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 da. Look at it, it's so beautiful. I'm so pleased with it. I started putting the bushes round. I'm just going to do a, a, a trim, but um, then I started doing it like ivy and I was like, oh, I really like that. So, so yeah, here it is in all of its glory. It's beautiful. I'm so pleased. Right, anyway, uh, what else have I been doing? I've set up an egg collector, uh, set up a cactus farm over here. Um, I was going to do it for bone meal, but it wasn't really going fast enough and also the composter kept on interfering with the librarians um, so I might even I mean, it's so slow I might even put a furnace there instead and we'll get the XP because one of my um, what do you call them? shepherds uh, actually will buy some green dye so that's fine um, we'll take advantage of that um, and one more little strange thing happened <laughs> One of my villagers in here just disappeared because I, uh, I was having trouble with the librarians and um, wondered why so I came to check on these guys and there was nobody in here and when I got rid of the bed and the composter it had um, gone so I don't know I might have to put out some missing posters but um, you know we'll have to get a temp in to fill his place until he comes back if he comes back I don't know right so what have we got to do today we have got to um, get some clerics in because um, now that I'm sorted with um, equipment because I've got plenty of diamonds I've got all the enchantments I want um, I want some clerics so we're going to build them a nice church to live in um, and they once we've unlocked the trades they're going to sell us some ender pearls and then we'll have plenty of ender pearls um, to make um, 
eyes of ender and we can go and find the fortress so that's probably going to be the uh, next episode um but yes and i think i think the dragon fight will probably happen before the next episode is released um but that doesn't matter uh just be great to see everybody there uh come and show support and uh, laugh at me when i die about 10 million times <laughs> um so we need to prepare to get to the nether because we need lots and lots of quartz Okay, we're here. I remembered my bow. Uh, still have this little path down to where the original portal was. But the other thing I need to do really um, is get some more blaze rods for blaze powder, because that is the um, yeah, that's how we're going to get the end of the eyes of Ender. Um, okay. So I don't know whether to let's go do that first. So I've got um, fire protection on my uh, armor concentrating now sorry <laughs> struggling to talk <laughs> let's just um not get too uh oh look there's loads of quartz up there so that's great so we'll, we'll, we'll do, oh my god how many ghasts are there they must have known i was coming right well oh yes got him <laughs> um that's really um put me off um oh there's more right okay well let's just go around We'll, we'll do the dangerous bit first. So I don't have any um, fire protection, no, fire resistance potions. Oh, do you know I can't speak today? What is wrong with me? Um, I don't have any fire resistance potions because I haven't found any uh, magma cube things. Can this, uh, some tears over there. Just go careful. Just because we've got good equipment doesn't mean we don't have to be careful. So Look at all this stuff. Okay. Well, I've, got to, I've got feather falling. I'm going to be okay. And then I can just get some blocks. Nice one. Gunpowder. Oh, there's more. Oh dearie me. Oh, oh, I'm getting good at this. Hello, Mr. Baby Zombie. Don't mind me. I'm just. The of that cast. Oh, 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 I don't like you. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, there seems to be quite a lot of quartz here, so what I'm going to do is use my silk touch, not hit the pig man. Use the silk touch so that we can carry more. And then um, what I can do is when we get back to the base, I can use the fortune on it. And um, that'll also give me a lot of XP for um, more enchanting. <gasps> oh my goodness, there was a hole. Oh! <laughs> Oh, and there's lava! There's lava! There's lava! There's lava! There's lava! Dig up! Dig up! Dig up! It's gonna get me! Oh, overreaction. for now. There's absolutely loads of quartz around here. It's really, really good and still quite close, well, really close to our portal, so I haven't been in here for a while. Even though I'm quite well equipped, it's still making me quite jumpy. Let's see if I can um, block that off before I start trying to do that. Hi Mr. Gas, I see you. Yes! <laughs> I should stop gloating really, shouldn't I? Oh! Oh! No! Making it worse! 
Hey. Oh, is it? Uh, is that? Oh, that's just from that one. That's okay. Right, okay. Here we are. Now all we need to worry about is it coming out of the wall. It's usually when I'm doing these, um, you know, repetitive tasks on Minecraft that I start thinking about what I'm doing. Um, now that I've calmed down a bit, because you know the gas have gone for a little while. Um, but um, yeah, there's just been a. This, we've just had the 1.13 update for Bedrock Edition. Um, there's so many new uh, features, which is great. We've got the suspicious stew now. We can place item frames on the floor and on the ceiling, and <laughs> that's brilliant. And the first thing that um, me and uh, Schmoops, you might know Schmoops from uh, the, the wedding video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, first thing we did was um, put meat on it, on a tin, like a, like a plate, like a dinner plate, because, uh, you know, that's the, how we think. It's got to look cute. It's got to look pretty. We want to have a dining table. <laughs> uh, we've got the foxes now, which are really, really cute. Um, I don't know if it's just going to be something that's another cute addition, a bit like the panda, um, whether they've got a, an actual function or not, um, you know, something they're useful for, like the cats are good for uh, getting rid of creepers and uh, the dogs are good for keeping the skeletons away and, and what have you, but whether there's just another cute mob to be added, we'll see, but um, I definitely want the fox. I have a box for everything else. Or oh, another thing we're going to need is slow falling potion. That's a good as well, done there. Um, yeah, slow falling potion, which means we need to somehow. Um, I don't want to just hang about and fight phantoms. I want to see if there's a way that I can um, you know, fight a lot of them at once. Okay, I headed back to my base because uh, I've got quite a few stacks of um, quartz ore. Um, dropped them off uh, in a chest by where I'm going to be uh, um, building the church. It's okay, I'm in the nether. I need to concentrate again. <laughs> uh, so we're definitely going to the uh, fortress this time um, to go and have a go at some blazes and collect some blaze rods. Now, I've got some uh, noob juice in my hot bar because I found... Uh, magma cube and you dropped quite a few actually especially my uh, awesome looting sword um yeah so i'm hoping i'm gonna get a good haul of blaze rods right see if i can remember where the uh, spawner is because uh, it's been a while since i've been here um oh look at that way that's it on the Oh god, there's loads in there. Right, well, let's just get to it. <laughs> I think I'm just going to take this now. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh, he was straight out of there, wasn't he? I've got fire, fire uh, protection on my armour and I have got fire resistant potion going, so they shouldn't. Uh, be too much of a problem this time. Oh yeah. Right, we've got plenty now. Uh, thinking about it, I'm not going to need because that's that'll make two blaze powder. So. Get absolutely low, so it's gonna be absolutely plenty. So we're done here, which is nice, it means we get to go home. <laughs> Let's go home. get out of here. Okay, I've put the blaze rods safely away um, in the potion chest. Um, so we need to get on with this now. So I've got how many have I got? One, seven and a bit stacks um, of. Quartz or now what I'm 
going to do is pillow up with these and then uh, just um, use the fortune pick on it but what let's do is do it by the water because even though I crouch sometimes <laughs> I fall off so um, let's face the water and let's see how many we get out of all these Okay, so out of one stack of quartz ore I got, huh? oh, because there's some there as well, oh, I don't know, but we've got more than a stack worth of actual uh, things, so that's good. So I'm going to carry on with that and see how much we get, and then uh, we'll start building. Okay, right, we've got quite a lot of uh, quartz out of that, so let's turn it all into blocks. I'm going to be using, oh, we're not space, uh, going to be using a lot of uh, the pillared quartz and some of the chiseled quartz. Now, what I'm going for is, um, I think, Little House on the Prairie type of church, the whitewashed uh, wood <laughs> going on, so... Um, maybe I'm showing my age a little bit there, but <laughs> who knows? Um, but yeah, cue time lapse music. Okay, so we have the outside of the church finished. Oh, I might do another slab on top of there. Um, we've got a bell tower. Needs a bell. <laughs> um, I don't think I've actually got any. I might have picked one up from one of the villages. Um, we need to put some more glass in for the windows. We've got a big space up here for a 
you know I think I might do like a fancy stained glass thing and uh, then here is where the villagers are going to be um, but uh, we don't have uh, any more time left for this episode to do that um, it's uh, taken me quite a long time to get all that quartz I had to keep going back for more because uh, what we'd gathered before just was not enough so um, that's coming to the end of the episode but we have just got one more very very important thing to do before we wrap up yes that's right we're back in the cpa building and uh, we need to give another cat a code name so um we have our little kitty cat sat at their desk and we are going to give it a name so let's see who have we got for episode two so as it's episode two this is agent 002 and that's thanks to Corgi for uh, giving me that idea because she was agent 001 <laughs> okay the agent is Susie yes yeah, <laughs> Susie Nouveau let's uh oh Nouveau I'm not sure how to pronounce it let's see what Susie had to say on episode two another lovely comment uh stinking creepers or should I say sneaky creepers at least you got all the animals back. I love the songs you sing to the sheep and chickens. Very well done, episode. You are a natural. Oh, well, thank you very much, Susie. <laughs> and here we are. Here is Agent Susie. <laughs> Looking all cute on her little direct cushion. And she's even got a picture of her. Is that a wanted poster? Is that, you know, most wanted? CPA's most wanted. <laughs> um, okay, and we uh, did the aquariums on a live stream, so there's little fishes in there. Um, for all you um, fellow Brits out there, I think I'm going to call that one Terry. And uh, I want you to comment uh, if you know why I want to call it Terry. Okay, right, that is all the uh, time that I have for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, please do smash that like button and do sub consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. Make sure to press that bell button for all notifications. And until the next video, guys, I will see you then. Bye!